video that I'm filming since I got back from Hawaii. Obviously, as you guys have seen, I am recently a single mom. Obviously, we have a lot of things to talk about, which we'll get into later. The past couple weeks have just kind of been like just trying to adjust and get into a routine. It's been a lot. Yeah. Today, we're just also probably going to be hanging out at the house. Um, it is Thursday, I have plans like this weekend with like family and friends and stuff, so yeah, I'm just gonna try to get stuff done at the house and chat. Alright, we're playing outside while Millie naps. What are we doing today, Layla? Making what? a caterpillar, a book, and a fairy house. We're building a caterpillar house, and a fairy house, and a bug house. <laughs> it's been cold. I'm gonna go to sweatshirt. Come on. <laughs> yeah. She doesn't ask anymore, she just comes with her mouth open. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I am so sorry. I took the little like microphone wind protector thing, the little fluffy thing off of my camera the other day because it's just like so gross. Like it's so old that it's like all matted. Yeah, majority of that clip had like really bad like wind sound in the background. So um, I tried to keep some of the stuff in because I like, I liked what I said in the video and I didn't want to refilm the whole thing. So I'm just gonna try to fill in the parts that were too messed up to leave in there. But basically in this video, I just kind of wanted to explain to you guys, like officially kind of tell you guys that like I am a single mom now, like Logan and I are split up. It's been super weird to talk about it. A lot of people thought it was clickbait. <gasps> this whole past month has been like all of April. Um, has kind of just been a very big, like, we were splitting up and there was just a lot going on trying to figure it all out. I've been, it's just been very emotional. Um, I've been trying to, like, hold it together. As of right now, we kind of decided that we aren't going to go too into detail about, like, our personal relationship and why we decided to end things with ended at the end of the day we're both just really young so obviously we are both really young and we're so young when we jumped into like being parents like we had I already had Layla we had two kids together before we were 20 years old and then got a house together and like we just took on a lot of responsibility being so young and like we knew that we were doing that and we like we knew we were putting a lot on our plates and we're kind of in over our heads, but it just, we kept going and doing it and it worked until it didn't. We, I feel like did a, the best that we could with like what we have. Since we sort of shared that we were doing this and we were splitting up, there has been so many just like hateful comments just about us splitting up in general. Like, how could you do that? And like not make it work for the kids and just like, yeah, a lot of hateful comments and people making assumptions about what happened, but like nobody really knows anything about our relationship and how we tried to make it work. I never like intended to like hide any issues or like things in our relationship that like weren't working. It's not that I was trying to hide that we 
like that side of things like that we had problems yeah it wasn't like intentional because we did talk about the fact that we did have problems and how we tried to work through them but just not like what they were i guess and it's just because i just wasn't vlogging if we were like fighting or like having issues we just like didn't share that part of our relationship and we still aren't going to put our relationship out there like in all of like why we split up out there because it's just not we're trying to figure out ourselves and to have it all these other people involved that's just like wouldn't be good for us and especially for the kids like i don't need the kids one day seeing on the internet like our whole breakup story so anyways i had to pause for a second i forget what i'm saying yeah it wasn't my intention to like hide that we were ever struggling or anything i think it was just kind of it's all very confusing at the end of the day we do love each other and love our kids so much and did have so many amazing times together, did so many amazing things together, I would never ever look back and regret it. Maybe in another video we'll kind of talk about how we're co-parenting, because that's still something we're sort of figuring out. As of right now, I'm living at the house with all the kids. He's close by and here, like often. Um, I think that's all that I'm really going to get into. You rocking? <laughs> Obviously, um, I know I don't have to share anything um, at all, but you know, you guys, most of you guys, like, have been following along with our entire relationship from the very beginning when Layla was a baby and we you know, started dating. Obviously, we're going to talk about it more and stuff as time goes on because I am going to continue vlogging and. Like, it's just kind of going to be a new chapter, I guess, on my channel here of me now being a single mom, which is hard to think about. And all this has definitely been really hard and, like, emotional for me because, oh, it's just hard. Um, I did kind of want to transition to that anyways because I wasn't really liking doing, like, family vlogging anyways. And I think that probably was because behind the scenes we did have issues in our relationship so it was hard to like put on a not put on an act because that's not what we were doing but like there was totally times that like you know we were filming but like behind the scenes we were having issues and i had to just be vlogging anyways for whatever reason and like yeah so and either way i kind of wanted to transition for it to be more like my channel new kind of stuff uh, just about figuring out being a single mom, co-parenting, and um, it feels really weird filming right now, but I know I'm gonna get used to it, and then you guys will get used to it. Yeah, we're just taking it one day at a time and making sure we prioritize the kids and that they're good, and I'm just trying to get better because this last month has been challenging in a lot of ways. At the end of the day, and again, we'll get into it more, Logan and I are very good Friends. like we are very close still and it was a rough transition when it, it was rough um, but we're very good like it's not like we hate each other um, we are good friends still close and still spend time together as a family and that's just my goal is that the kids still see like even though they don't get to see us be in a healthy marriage relationship they'll get to at least be able to see us healthily co-parent which is i think the best alternative in this situation <laughs> apologies for the wind background noise in this video uh i was so upset when i started editing this and heard that i was like oh no this whole clip is ruined but um hopefully that made sense and gave a little bit of clarity to those who didn't really know what was going on thank you guys for respecting that we're keeping things private I do appreciate everyone that has just been like supportive, understanding of us taking our time, talking about things. They're just being funny kids right now. I'm really snapping, so I'm gonna go get some stuff done. And then after that, when she wakes up, I think we are going to meet a friend at the park. It's so cold out here, so we're all gonna like put warm clothes on. But I just wanted to say something for right now. Stop at the beach and went to the park with one of my friends. Layla stayed at my grandma's house because she was tired and didn't want to join. So.
we had a fun little time at the park. I don't remember if I vlogged being at the park or not. Also, I'm in a new car. It's a new old car, actually. There was a lot of things wrong with my new car that I just like honestly didn't even feel like dealing with fixing at this point in my life right now so I decided to go in and trade the car in and just get a cheaper car that I could pay off pay off the rest of the loan and got some cash back so I have a new car it's another white Jeep but it's like an older Jeep it's smaller too which is kind of nicer because I had a bigger car which was like nice to have like the space with the kids but the space just ended up getting so messy like there was always just so much stuff in our car so now it's just one row in the back and I got like smaller car seats so the car seats can all fit in the back so we <laughs> went we had dinner over my grandma's and stuff. I kind of stopped vlogging a little bit, but I'm probably gonna pick up this vlog again tomorrow. Um, I'm just gonna be cleaning again. <laughs> but I just wanna like finish chores, like dishes, laundry and stuff because I am gonna be hanging out with friends tomorrow. And the girls are sleeping over my grandma's house. I want to go <laughs> more into like, it's very hard right now for me to be open about this whole situation and like what I'm actually going through. It's just so fresh and a lot. I feel like normally I'm so, so open about how I feel and like things that happen in my life on here. And right now just, it feels like it's not even possible. This is definitely one of the hardest ones I've ever had. It's so much change at once and like my anxiety has been the root of the roof. And yeah, it's like a whole, new life is starting and not necessarily in a bad way or a good way but just in an overwhelming overwhelmingly fast way it felt like slowly ripping a band-aid off kind of if that makes sense but i do just like want to go more into like just how i'm coping and feeling and just like managing as being a single mom now and how co-parenting is gonna work for us a lot and i can feel that a lot more change is going to be coming good night for now good morning vlog i just got out of the shower and got dressed um millie hopped in the shower with me the big girls are doing chores out in the living room um i just put on this romper um i haven't worn this thing in so long you're supposed to tie it in the front but I can never figure out how to make it work, so I just wrapped it and tied it in the back. I think we are just, oh, like I said, doing stuff at the house, I'm really, and then uh, getting your ready to go have this sleepover at my grandma's. Kissing yourself in the mirror. <coughs> you got Anna's mini mouse? Bring it to Anna. Oh. <laughs> you clean up the living room? <gasps> Good job. <laughs> All right, what else? You picked up all the markers? Yeah. Good job. I cleaned the whole thing. Good job, Layla. Five, five. All right, packing up their bag, packing them sweaters and these cute little dresses. I love these, these are my favorites. From Gone the Kids. Mommy, Yeah, which one do you want to wear? I want to wear that. Okay, Layla. Layla, I'm packing this dress for you, okay? I grabbed this cute little cactus dress. This is like my favorite little dress for Millie. And pajamas for Millie. I'm obsessed with these little silk button up PJs. Sleep sack, sound machine bottle. Layla, oh, where's your baba? Can you grab it for me? Do you want it at Amazon? Yes. Yes. Here we go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We're good. Millie it takes her nap at like 11. Normally, I feed her lunch after her nap because like, I don't know, she just is so tired by 11 and then I like feed the big girls and like around, I'd say like 12, 30, one, and that's like around when she wakes up too. So they usually like eat before and then eat after or like they all eat when she wakes up around like one, one thirty. I'm gonna switch to feeding them all lunch before nap time because like she does eat breakfast pretty early. You guys all get pink.
dropped the kids off at my grandma's and then came back home, got ready with my friends, and now we are going out. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below, check out my other socials, and we'll see you in the next one.